What up, Fight Fans? It's your main man, made man, back at it again. And y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Now, I am here, given that Floyd Money Mayweather has, hasn't has had a rematch since 2002, Jose Luis Castillo. Uh, I thought I'd get on here and give a final analysis of the whole saga between Marcos Maidana and Floyd Money Mayweather. Some of the things that I've kind of learned watching the whole situation and, and a few of the takeaways that I've got. Now, I've already posted a... Uh, post fight uh, reaction to the last night's fight. It's in my archives. You guys can go back and watch that. Um, I was a little intoxicated in that video, but I hopefully you guys got my point through pretty clearly. But the fact is, we know Floyd Money Mayweather has became victorious once again against Marcos Maidana. I scored the fights in rounds two. I thought it was a one-sided victory for, for, for Floyd Money Mayweather for a very cautious fight. Uh, basically, the Floyd Money Mayweather a lot of people was expecting to show up in the rematch against Marcos Maidana did show up. Very cautious, using his footwork more more, um, kind of just using the movement more, just keeping Marcos Maidana off balance, keeping him more confused. But that's the Floyd Mayweather that we saw last night. The Floyd Mayweather of Robert Guerrero, ladies and gentlemen. The Floyd Mayweather of Canelo Alvarez. Uh, not so much the Floyd Mayweather of the first Maidana fight. So um, once again, a clear-cut victory for Floyd Money Mayweather. But, uh, you know, looking at this fight, you know, I want to go, you know, I watched the post-fight press conference last night. And, you know, I, I, you know, I just started thinking to myself, Floyd is rapidly approaching now the Rocky Marciano record, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we know Floyd Mayweather now stands at 47-0. and 0. Rocky Marciano's record, he retired at 49-0, and 0, undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, you know, Floyd has two more fights left with the Showtime CBS deal, and which will tap him out roughly at 49-0. and 0. So, it's going to be interesting to see if he decides to come back for that 50th fight but the fact remains is that Floyd is getting very very close and I noticed in the build up to this fight we've seen a lot of fucking scandals surrounding this fight and I, I gave a fight um, in a prediction video I did for this fight I stated that you know for Floyd to win at such a high level with all the shit that's surrounding this fight on top of all that uh, 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 dealing with uh, just the, the whole you know performing well and you know having the networks come in and you know hopefully the numbers come back well and all that performing at such a high level and to still go out and get this win will be very very impressive especially if he dominated which he did so it was very impressive to do such but the fact still remains ladies and gentlemen is that this this fight is almost if we seen um a bit of a different Floyd Mayweather was not nearly as uh I mean, of course, he talked his little trash to kind of build up the hype for the fight, but we've seen a lot of difference. We didn't see him walk out to the ring with no rappers, no entertainers whatsoever. I heard it was highly rumored that he was supposed to walk out with some kind of Mexican entertainer. I forget his name, Prince something or whatever, but it didn't occur. Um, you know, he didn't seem as enthusiastic about the fight in the press conference after the fight, like he was very impressed with his win. He he graded himself a C plus. He said he, he didn't feel like he performed at his best. He felt as though he performed better in the first fight. Um, but some other things that I've noticed, you know, uh, uh, Floyd, uh, he kind of alluded to him having a reading off the teleprompters over 70 something plus teleprompters he had to read for the commercial. So did these things that occurred outside the ring really get to Floyd Mayweather to the point where we've seen it really affect his personality? Uh, the whole thing with Ms. Jackson, you know, the whole thing with the rappers, T.I., Nelly, and 50, 50 putting the stigma out there about Floyd can't read, you know, did it really get him down in the mud? You know, you think about the characters that surrounded this fight. Alex Ariza swapping camps, going over to Floyd's camp. Uh, we've seen the emergence of Warren Buffett. What the hell is Warren Buffett doing in Floyd Mayweather's workout sessions? They even granted him and Floyd an interview together. Floyd Mayweather, one thing you got to give to him, ladies and gentlemen, hate him or love him, he has surrounded himself with some very, very, very powerful people. Uh, we see him, Al Heyman. We see uh, De La Hoya and Richard Schaefer. Uh, we see uh, now Warren Buffett. You know, he's been associated with 50 Cent. Floyd has associated himself with some very, very powerful people. I hear he's he's next to some very good um, uh, investment guys, you know, that takes good care of his money or whatnot. So, uh, you know... Floyd is surrounding himself by some very, very wealthy and powerful, powerful people. Maybe this is great for Floyd after boxing, but we've seen him arise and in, 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 uh, a lot of these characters emerge during the during, during this fight. Um, the closest that Floyd gets to that 49-0 record, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we've seen CNN prior to this fight try to almost character assassinate Floyd Mayweather with that bullshit story about his domestic abuse. You know, if you recall back when Larry Holmes, who was the last fighter to basically come close to beating the Rocky Marciano record, when he got to the 49-0 mark, 
um, we seen the loss to Michael Spinks, a very, very controversial loss. And we remember those epic words in the post-fight press conference about how Rocky Marciano could not hold his jock strap. Um, you know, but there was a, a, a it seemed like an effort underway at the time for Larry Holmes. They robbed him of that fight to prevent him from getting that 50 and 0 record, ladies and gentlemen. Do we think that same effort can possibly underway be underway for Floyd Money Mayweather? He did not look happy last night. His reaction just did not seem, it just seems as almost as if he's, something is coming in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we know he alluded to before the fight about a surprise in May, and he mentioned anything about it whatsoever after the fight. I just think it was all pre-fight buildup. I even stated that before in a previous video, but like I said, um, just a different Floyd. Just a different Floyd. I don't know if it's surrounding himself with these powerful entities. Some people say that could be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. Uh, we don't know how, if these guys are vultures or not. Um... Surrounding himself with the powerful, though, the elite, uh, showing a more not-so-happy demeanor. I mean, these things are some telltale signs to me. Approaching the 49-0 record, ladies and gentlemen, this is big. You know, all that Floyd Mayweather dealt with after the fight was questions about Manny Pacquiao, it seems. Everyone wanted, that was the main focus. No one even really wanted to talk much about the fight other than the Biden incident, which, uh, you know... Floyd Mayweather know what the fuck he did. He tried to cover the guy's mouth and nose. The guy bit him. It's as simple as that. But the fact is, that's all that media wanted to talk about. And it seems as if I'm starting to wonder to myself, why is Floyd so hesitant to take this Pacquiao fight? Don't give me that shit about him and Bob Abram, how much money Bob Abram owes Floyd. This fight is scheduled to generate over at least $150 million in Floyd's pocket. Don't give me that bullshit. Don't give me that shit about uh, Manny Pacquiao's not taking $40 million or the drug testing and all that I'm tired of it now. I'm fucking sick of it now. There is something else behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen. Floyd whole demeanor changes when you he, he mention the words Manny Pacquiao. There is a reason for that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know. Is the fix in? Was for, I, I know this is a conspiracy theory, but what's Floyd told if he fights, gets all this money from the Manny Pacquiao fight, that he has to take a dive in order, in order for the, the rematch to be just as big? Could something like that be on the table for Floyd Mayweather? There's a reason he, that fight is poison to Floyd Money Mayweather, ladies and gentlemen. There is realistically no one left for him to fight. A mere fucking con, ladies and gentlemen. Floyd hit it dead on the head. I, I can't say it no better than he possibly said it. When Amir Khan got his ass whooped and knocked out by Breedis Prescott, Floyd was champion. When Amir Khan got his ass knocked out by Danny Garcia, Floyd was fucking champion. When Amir Khan struggled against Marcos Maidana, sure he boxed him well, but it was on the verge this close to being having a loss to Marcos Maidana. What the fuck happened? Once again, Floyd was champion, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when, when he struggled against Diaz, Floyd was champion. Now we want to throw Marcos Maidan, I mean, we want to throw Amir Khan because of his popularity and because of his speed into the ring with Floyd Money Mayweather, ladies and gentlemen. Is that really a fight that we all want to see with this man with two fights left? I honestly would prefer to see Kell Brook. That's just me. You know what I mean? Kell Brook is a world champion. Don't give me that shit. He's, he doesn't have the experience. He, he deserves it. Yes, he does. He came across the pond beating a very impressive American boxer in Sean Porter. Don't give me that shit that he's not in the Mayweather sweepstakes. That's the fighter I would like to see Floyd in the ring with. Not fucking Amir Khan. It's just not. This is a fight that, honestly, if Floyd was to get a knockout in any fight, it would be against Amir fucking No Chin Khan. But anyway. But anyway. Why is the Pacquiao fight so poisonous? I am sick of all the excuses. I do not want to hear about no fucking drug testing. I don't want to hear about the problems with Bob Abram. I do not want to hear about Pacquiao having a sign with Mayweather Promotions. Something else is at hand here. Guys like Warren Buffett don't come around, ladies and gentlemen, unless something is going on. Is he an investor in Mayweather Promotions? I don't know. I don't know. But when guys like this come around, ladies and gentlemen, lights should be going off in fans' heads like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. It just is. But I know Floyd is, like I said, rapidly approaching this thing, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen what happened with Larry Holmes, robbed against Michael Spinks, uh, did not allow, wasn't allowed to get to that 50 and 0 record. The closer that Floyd gets to this 50 and 0 record, uh, we see scandals breaking out. We see him being ridiculed more. It seems as if they're trying to take the wing, the wind out of uh, Floyd Mayweather's wings, ladies and gentlemen. Something is underway. Something is underway. But once again, in this fight, uh, you know, to go back to the fight, I know I got way off topic, but to go back to this fight, uh, 
you know, we seen Marcos Maidana, you know, last night. I did not understand the fucking game plan for Marcos Maidana. I'm hoping that that was not the game plan that Robert Garcia gave to Marcos Maidana because that was a shitty fucking game plan. Uh, we wanted to see a more ferocious Marcos Maidana in this fight. We did not want to see a more conservative Marcos Maidana. I did vouch for smart aggression against Floyd Mayweather for Marcos Maidana, but that was not even smart fucking aggression. I don't know what the fuck that was. It was just pick your times you wanted to engage with Floyd. I mean, didn't you try to outbox this guy in the middle of the fucking ring? What the fuck? And then after the fight, if, you know, McDonald's claiming he fell as though he won, which we all know is bullshit. He wasn't hurt. He wasn't down in the dumps by far. What's the fix in for this fucking fight? All right. Maybe they came out prematurely. We seen prior to the main event of Mayweather and Madonna, uh, Mickey Bay fighting Miguel Vasquez. Mickey Bay, a TMT fighter, edged that victory out. I scored. I had Vasquez winning the fight, as majority of fans do. A Mayweather promotion fighter in the company of Buffett, in the company of Heyman, uh, Richard Schaefer was also caught on camera sitting ringside. What the fuck happened in Vegas last night, ladies and gentlemen, between Miguel Vasquez and Mickey Bay? You telling me Mickey Bay won that slow, dry-ass fight? I think not, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going to give that fight to anybody, you have to give it to Vasquez. Because mainly so, Mickey Bay did not do enough to dethrone the champion. Now, this kid's IBF world champion at lightweight. I don't understand it. What the fuck was Warren Buffett doing at the fight last night? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, to be continued on this subject. It's going to be interesting to see. But anyway, for a Marcos Maidana, fucked up game plan. Uh, I don't know. He looked way more lethargic in his fight. He looked way much more uh, tired in his fight. Did not look nearly as impressive as he did in the first fight. Um, even when, you know, I don't know what, the, I just don't know what the hell was going on. The whole biting situation, I can care less. Um, the glove situation, that was a big deal evidently in this fucking fight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we know the glove situation, uh, you know, Floyd making Marcos Maidana with a 10 ounce gloves. And I don't know, I heard last minute they may have retracted that. But the fact is, if that was the case, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, he, Marcos Maidana was, I don't, maybe that did have the effect. You can't even say that was the reason. Fuck that. He got outboxed. But bad fucking game plan. Just bad game plan for Marcos Maidana. Did not understand it. But however, Marcos Maidana can go on. Uh, we would love to see Marcos Maidana in the ring with Keith Thurman. We would love to see Marcos Maidana in the ring with Amir Khan. A rematch. We would love to see Marcos Maidana in the ring with an Adrian Braun rematch. So his future is still alive if he chooses to come back to the ring anytime soon. We know he was pondering retirement prior to Mayweather. So who knows. But um, I just didn't get it. But back to Floyd. I really want to concentrate on this. I do not understand why the Pacquiao fight is so poisonous. Maybe you guys can put it in the comment section and explain it better than I can. Because I can't get it. But we do know Warren Buffett is on board. And we do know Showtime and uh, is, trying, is reaching out to the HBO whom Manny Pacquiao fights for to try to make something happen. We do know that Floyd Mayweather's numbers over the course of this six fight deal is not what they were hoping. We do know. That these networks need to make this fucking money back. And what is the biggest fight available to Floyd Mayweather. We do know that Mayweather has a very fucking short list of people we want to see him fight. Or either worthy of a Mayweather fight for that matter. Uh, Manny Pacquiao. Hmm, Timothy Bradley. Hmm, can't Neither fight can't happen because they're both top ranked fighters. Um, his mandatories. Keith Thurman at 147. Eris Lindy Laura at 154. Do we want to see those fights? I don't know. I don't know. But what the fuck was Warren Buffett doing at the fight? <sighs> he is surrounding himself with some powerful yet dangerous people. We are not done with the subject and to be continued. That is my final analysis on the Marcos Madonna Floyd Mayweather situation. I know I went all over the place. Um, just, you know, big ups to both fighters. Um, I thought Floyd Mayweather looked very, very good last night. Um, just big up to both fighters. I'm glad we're putting this thing to rest. Take in mind, and it's in my archives, I did not vouch for this fight. I did not want to see this fight from the beginning. Um, I vouched and said, you know, Floyd had three fights left at the time. I did not want him to waste one on Marcos Maidana because I knew in that first fight he was just cashing in on, in on the Spanish. He's cashing in on the Spanish as he always does. And Floyd is laughing all the way to the bank this morning because he conned a lot of people once again. But what the fuck was Warren Buffett doing at the fight?
to the next video. It's your main man, Made Man, and I see y'all there. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Twitter. I'm at Made Man 511. Holla at your boy.